Hello you guys, Jesse Lucas here, and I have got some downloads, some inspirations, and some action steps for you today. I was at a training yesterday, and it was a four hour training, and I was moved to tears multiple times. One of the things that I noticed was happening was that the work that I do, the work that I teach my clients, my students, I could feel in real time moving through me. I was having these massive kind of expansions of my understanding of my vision, my body of work, where I want it to go, um, maybe, you know, part where I want it to go and part seeing things that I didn't even really see before. And I noticed that instead of being tripped up into my old patterns of kind of shrinking and being afraid and hearing the kind of critical voices, people in my past telling me, you know, that's bogus, you can't do that, you're not good at that, whatever, you know, my stories are, I, I expanded. I literally expanded my range of emotion and I could feel these, these visions of what I wanted to do with this body of work sinking into my body. Like I could almost feel it like sparkling in my cells. And I know that sounds kind of like woo woo, but what I'm really trying to say is that I could feel it landing in my body. And one of the things that I was doing was I don't, I don't sit for four hours straight. I was up at the back of the room and I was moving, literally moving my body, um, not, you know, awkwardly, just in motion. And one of the things that does is that keeps your breath going and it allows you to take in intellectual information kinesthetically into your body and to process that with your emotional reaction in real time, which kind of creates this combustion that doesn't happen otherwise. And then things just get clogged in your head. And if things are kind of clogged in your mental space, you don't have the mojo to take action on it. And when I came home, I went into action for like 20 minutes and bam, 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 I made some important connections that are going to have some, some positive consequences. So uh, without kind of divulging what's up with my body of work, what I wanted to share with you was, um, you know, this is what it's all about. This, it, it, you have your creative purpose or your passion or your kind of mission in life that health, your health and well-being isn't just about avoiding disease. It's not just about um, getting rid of the excess weight or changing your bad habits. It's really about building a strength and resiliency so that you can be yourself and that so you can be the evolving, growing version of yourself. Um, if you're not growing, if you're not evolving, then you are deteriorating. Like literally, you know, if, if your cells aren't vibrant, then, then they're deteriorating. We watched a video at the end of this training, um, and if I can find the video, I'll share it here. But I did write down a quote that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, <clears throat> the quote I wrote down was, how will you serve the world? What did they need that your talent can provide? You are ready to do beautiful things in this world. You have two choices, love and fear. Don't ever let fear control your heart be used by life to expand and grow. And one of the important things there is I know I have been stuck in fear so many times and we can't always just get over it. We can't always just face the fear and do it anyway. We can't always just do it. And that's because sometimes those fears are real true protective mechanisms in your body. You don't want to get rid of that. What you need to be able to do is to be able to sift and sort, to discern and to decipher and to reroute where fear patterns are thwarting you and taking you away from being able to actualize your true self, to live into your passion, your vision, your purpose, your bigger body of work here, and where you know fear is actually useful, where it warns you when you're in a situation that an adverse situation, a scary, a dangerous situation. So that is what we're going to be doing in this um, group experience in December, Dive Into the Darkness. So I'm going to post the link for that below as well. Um, 
And this is what I really want. I, 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 as, as women, we have an expansive range of emotion. And over time, that gets clamped down and clamped down and clamped down and clamped down by t people telling us that we're too sensitive, that we're too crazy, that our, you know, we need to be, you know, taking care of all of the to-do list things first. And I know that our culture is changing. We are waking up, but we don't quite yet have the embodied resources for our, our physical health to be able to handle that. So. I'm gonna make a few more videos on those kind of specific little nuggets. How can our bodies handle that? But for right now, get up and move. Let all the information that's in your head kind of make some room in your physical body. Expand your range of physical motion so that you can expand your range of emotion. And if you want to join me for this Dive Into the Darkness December event, it is a group experience, highly potent, highly affordable, and we are going to use my signature system of release, realign, strengthen, and refine to look specifically where are those tangles, those knots, those places that are cut off in your body systems that are not vital and vibrant and thriving, the places where you're operating in kind of old trauma patterns or fear patterns or pain patterns and body armoring so that we can live this inspiration, this motivation, this purpose, and move into 2017 later. And yes, it will be uh, movement-based. Yes, there are all the beautiful uh, physical health benefits that come with that. Um, so there's details in the link that I'll post. And if you have questions about that, please do comment below. But let's, let's start a conversation here about how we can use movement to expand our range of physical motion, to expand our range of emotion, so that all those old voices, those self-sabotaging and, and sabotaging mechanisms aren't stuck in our body systems anymore. Super important. And I am so excited to be kind of on an upswing myself and to bring that to you guys. All right, have a great day, you guys. Bye. Mwah.